What's up, people? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something differently. Today we're going to answer some weird assumptions you guys have about me. I asked on my Instagram story, like, one weird thing you guys think about me, but you know, don't know for sure. And in this episode, we're going to discuss whether it's true or not. Let's just run right, jump right into it. Was that good? Yeah. Okay. I honestly wasn't paying that much attention, so it's good. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, first one from Kaylin Jing says that your her assumption is that you're secret, secretly very intelligent. Um, no, I'm actually very open about the fact that I'm stupid. Do you poop? I actually do poop sometimes. Thanks for asking, Devin Ramana. Rep RRS says you still have that odd dick tattoo. Dude, that's actually funny. That's like a couple months ago, but no, I, I don't have that to do. Um, like, but that would be wait, very uh, wait, 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 wait. Well, what's on your arm? Well, what do you mean? Like, I don't. I'm pretty sure there's something on your arm. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, you mean this? That's that's a rocket. That's a rocket. That's not a. <laughs> um. So no, <laughs> it would be so weird to have a penis tattoo. Finn Dolan, Donlan says, you get paid on Instagram. I wish I'm not an Instagram influencer. I'm trying to hit up brands, like, you know, modeling brands and like clothing brands because like, obviously like, why aren't they not sponsoring me? But no, I've actually never, ever had made a paid brand deal, deal either on my YouTube or my Instagram. New Sparrow World says, you have 11 toes, the extra one on the left foot. <laughs> I see six. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, busted. Ritik Malavia says, you are volatile and unstable. Um, no, I would say I'm pretty <coughs> zen. Fuck, Ricky, dude! I'm sorry. You I, I apologize. I'm sorry. Dude, why can't you just do it some other time? Like, just hold it back. Anyway, um, yeah, pretty zen. I don't, I don't overreact. Um, I, don't, I don't have any strong reactions to things. Sam Strike 47 says, You are secretly not as funny in real life. Well, actually, I'm, sure. I'm, pre I'm pretty funny in real life. Like, actually, all the time. Yeah. Uh, what, what was that guy's name? Sam Strike 47? Sam, you're 100% true. Not true. Um, hey there, you are cool. That's the tag, says. You have bad memory with school. Uh, that is, I guess that's somewhat of a true assumption. Depends on like what school. I, had, I have amazing memories of my elementary school. I have amazing memories of my high school. My middle school, on the other hand though, um, still pretty good, but I, I got bullied. I was like the, the smallest kid in class. I was always the shortest. Um, I was always trying to hang with the cool kids, but it was this in-between where they kind of let me hang with them. So I didn't even, you know, go out and find like friends who were like more like-minded, but they also, I wasn't really ever part of the group. So I didn't have many friends in middle school. I actually remember there were, I think, two or three summer vacations, which are six weeks in Germany. And on the, in these six weeks, I literally met with a friend twice. In six weeks, I hung out with a friend twice. And sometimes it was the same friend. That's how few friends I had in middle school. But um, high school kind of, kind of saved that for me. Kwai Shan says, wanted to study liberal arts for uni. No, I actually wanted to, I actually studied physics and philosophy. Um, because those are my two favorite subjects in high school, and so I thought that's the easiest path, you know, to a fucking nine to five. Gladly I dropped out. Liv K. Forrest says, rich family. Um, I think there are actually like three or four like these. Um, I mean, I grew up in like an upper middle class family, like neither rich nor like poor. I definitely grew up in good circumstances, um, but from the day I, because a lot of people think that I'm kind of supported by my parents and I definitely have savings from like what my parents saved up for me 
for college and other things, um, but I mostly burned through them when I was in New York City. And so since approximately halfway through being in New York City is when I ran out of my savings and I realized I needed to figure out how to make money, and that's when I started freelancing, and since then um, I've kind of been standing on my own two feet. Gareth Gefferty says, this will be good, you have it all figured out. Uh, no, I don't, by far, by a long shot. <laughs> Harshitapil says, you're bisexual, maybe, and I think you wax. That's why you have perfect, clear ass skin. <laughs> so on the first part, that's actually also a recurrent theme. A lot of you guys think I'm gay. I'm actually not, at least I think I'm not. I like girls. Never was really turned on from gay porn. I do like... No, actually... Yeah, I do a lot of gay things. I see where that's coming from. But pretty sure I'm not gay. Um, also not bisexual. And I actually do not wax. I'm naturally this hairless. I shave approximately once every two weeks. And that's good enough for me. So yeah, I'm... I have a baby face. And you hit a very soft spot with that. Literally. Ooh, I like this one. Bobo Evokojik says, You have great ambitions and potential, but seemingly you're not doing anything tangible. Now, that's shot fire, shots fired in my dictionary or whatever it's called. Um, I do have great ambitions. I'm not sure if I have great potential. Um, not doing any, anything tangible. I think, yeah, I mean, it's something that I, I feel often too, where I feel like things are not progressing as fast as I want them to, and like, you know, things are happening as fast as they could be or should be, or I want them to, and I think it's, partly it's like, just me putting a thought in my head, because like, things take a long time, like especially if you have big ambitions, like it doesn't happen in like a year or two or two months or whatever. And then on the other part it's also, like I can always do more, right? I can always work more, I can always work smarter, I can always, you know, work on myself. Um, so, but it's interesting that you're saying not anything tangible. I'm gonna block you right now. You're faking the accent, says Mark Claudio. What kind of accent am I faking, though? The American accent? I'm not faking any accents. The 13th day says, you're a virgin. Actually, funny enough, I'm not anymore, which is amazing. And actually, for, for quite a long time now, six months now, I think. Yeah, there was a, I think my most watched YouTube video is the video where I talk about being a virgin with 21 years old. I'm happy that that got kind of sorted. Sam... Evans asks or assumes I've always wondered whether you drink I drink water if you're meaning alcohol uh, Not much, but I definitely like I'm not like sober sober in the sense that I never ever drink anything But I mean on my 80 my grandma's 85th birthday, which was like two weeks ago. I went fucking ham I partied, you know, I you know, I got wasted and I probably drank like one beer and one red wine so now you kind of know what partying means to me. Xavier Fuentes says that you're amazing, not an assumption, just facts. And he spelled facts all capitals. You're right on that, dude. Right, Ricky? Um, okay, next one. The grass class official says you don't get distracted, like, ever. Um, yeah, I would say that's pretty... Ac that Finn, what, over here, over here. Oh, yeah, I would say that's pretty accurate. I never... Uh, oh. <laughs> pretty accurate. No, actually, I get distracted, like, all the time. I mean, fucking Instagram um, is a fucking loophole, I think, for everyone. And I realized that it's not really so much about, like, being the kind of person who never ever gets distracted and, like, picks up the phone and just never scrolls through Instagram, but it's just, like putting in processes to make sure that you're not getting distracted as often as possible. I try to keep my phone in the morning in airplane mode as long as possible. I know people like literally two days ago I talked with the founder and what she does when she posts on Instagram, every time she posts on Instagram she downloads the app, 
then she posts something on Instagram, and then she deletes the app again until she posts again, just to make sure that she there isn't even this this you know possibility to get distracted. So um, I get as easily distracted as anyone else, but I think I've, I've, I'm better than other people sometimes to make sure that I put some processes into place to not get these distractions as often as they would happen necessarily. This is Ayu Kushukuma says racist. That's a very, very racist thing to say considering that I'm German and Germans are notoriously famous for being racist. But yeah, I'm not racist. I don't have anything against any race. I think there are only two types of human beings, assholes and not assholes. That's really the only thing there is. Guy Shan says, you were great at school. That's actually true. I was pretty much always the best in class, and I'm not kidding. Um, <laughs> I mean, pretty fucking smart. <laughs> Sasha Kostenko says, you're kind of rude. Um, no, I would say I'm pretty, I'm pretty nice to people. Uh, I mean, sometimes you're, you're Ricky, kind of... shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm okay? Sorry. And on that note, we're gonna wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna watch more, make sure to subscribe and click the bell button. And also comment down below if you have any other assumptions. I'm gonna go in there, answer anything, if anything came up or wasn't clear, and then see you in the next video. Death. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up.